Pixie dust to the other fairy camps. 
that I'll see you in a couple days. Oh, and Tink, don't worry. You'll find something to fix. I hope so. In the meantime, I need to go find some lost things. Hold on, little Miss Fairpark. You're not going near the human house, are you? <gasps> There's a human house? No. I mean, yes, but no. We stay away from humans. Oh, Iridessa. <laughs> yeah. Tinkerbell knows that. Don't you? Define stay away. Ugh. It's gonna be a long summer. Crouchy. Oh, that's just Vidya being Vidya. No, the air. It smells grouchy. We might be in for a storm. <laughs> Come on, Phil. The sun is shining, the air is warm. It's a beautiful day. Nothing's gonna happen. Just now, Lizzie, I still have to get the trunk unpacked and the house settled. Father, look! What a magnificent butterfly! My word! Absolutely astonishing! It's so beautiful! What kind of butterfly is it? 
Well, judging from the epidermal membrane, it's clearly an aperture of iris. But the wings have two entirely different patterns. Well, that's nearly impossible. Well, I guess that's just the way the fairies decided to paint it. Yeah, I believe mm -hmm. the fairies do not paint butterfly wings because, as you know, fairies are not real. Mm. Oh. The proof is right here. They're painted all over its wings. Really, darling. Rational people consider a belief in fairies to be quite foolish. Oh. Where did it Chrysalis must have been in the meadow. The meadow? Oh, Father, wait! That's where I'm going. Would you like to come? Not now, Lizzie. I have to update my field journal. My interview at the museum is tomorrow night. You're going back already? You just got here. I know, sweetheart, and I'm very sorry. But I'll only be gone for the day. Mrs. Perkins will look after you, and I'll be back in time to tuck you in. Promise? I promise. Okay. That's a good girl. All clear. Come on, Vidya. <sighs> I can't fly. My wings are wet. Oh, that's right. Sorry. <laughs> Guess you'll have to walk back. Oh, but don't worry, I'll keep you company. Actually, it might be nice. Hmm. Or not. So, I think I figured out the carriage. Those bottles of goop must keep it running smoothly, like, like snail slime, you know? You see the size of a snail that stuff comes from. <laughs> and at first, so much. <gasps> Whoa. Hmm. The truth hurts, doesn't it? Look! We can use these back at camp. Ugh. Wow, these will be perfect for the new wagon prototype I've been working on. Here, I bet if I took two or three and tied them together, I could make one really strong wheel. Oh, it's a good thing we are walking or we might never have seen mm. this. Vinya, where are your buttons? Tinkerbell, I am not carrying this human jock back to camp. <gasps> oh, let's go! Huh? Tinkerbell, we're not supposed to go near human houses. This isn't a human house. They're a lot bigger. Besides, 
The sign says fairies welcome. Who do you think wrote it? Humans! Tinkerbell, you're not going in there. Please tell me you're not going in there. <laughs> she went in there. Tinkerbell, don't eat that. This could be a trap. Oh, come on, Lydia. It's perfectly safe. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, Lydia. Huh. Not so safe now, is it? Nice try, Lydia. But you're not scaring me. This thing is amazing. You just don't know when to stop, do you? <gasps> oh no! Tink! Someone's coming! Uh, uh, the door is stuck! Come on, Lydia. You can do better than that. I wonder what this part does. Tink! Uh, I'm serious! Get out of there! Just a second. Just a second. Open the door! You had your little... <gasps> oh no. What have I done? Video? Okay, not funny anymore. significant findings like this with my colleagues. I know it's unfortunate for the specimen, but really, there is no other way. Now, dear, what did you want me to see? Uh, never mind.
creatures wear buggy ears. Mommy's wearing red. <laughs> Naughty cat. You're going outside. Some twigs for the subflora. Acorns is counterweight. Some quick dry maple sap as reinforcement. What are you two talking about? We're, We're gonna, gonna build, build a boat. Scared. I'm very worried. 
your dress is very lacy. Did you make it yourself? I like your wings. They're like sparkly lace. Your hair must be so soft. Are you hungry? Maybe not. That's okay. I don't like some kinds of food either. you the most. This one on rocks and minerals is particularly interesting. Is there a field journal about fairies? 
sorry. <laughs> of course not, Lizzie. Books like this are based on fact and scientific research, which is quite the contrary to your little figurines and drawings. Well, just because you've never seen a fairy doesn't mean they're not real. Now, Lizzie, seeing is believing. And without proof, it's just a fairy tale. Where is a blank field journal? You're very talented, my darling. I'm sure you'll be able to fill it with your own scientific research. Yes, Father. <sighs> if only these leaks were just pretend. Tinkerbell, you can come out now. Look, Lizzie, um, thanks for showing me your collection, but, but I really should be... Do you want to go? Um, I really wish you'd stay. I'm sorry, Lizzie. Okay, I understand. I guess this is goodbye. What's wrong? Aren't you flying away? You can stay with me until the rain stops. I'll show you about my room. You can play with my toys. We'll have so much fun. Baby. 
baby. Lots. One. First, when a baby laughs for the first time, that's when a fairy is born. Incredible. Ruby, that's only the beginning. Yes, I always knew this good old country. You would feel so new being here with you. Can't believe my eyes. A new should take us straight to the human house. So how far is it from the road to the house, do you think? Not that far, really. The only question is, how far is this? That's a good point. Well, I can remain up in no time.
for the post. It's not there. I'm telling you, I don't. Ooh. I'm good. from here. But walking where? We could be anywhere. Everything looks the same from down here. Oh, and there's no way of knowing which way to go. Quick! Where did you find that? Oh, uh, I don't know. Here on the ground. Is it yours? the season. I thought it had something to do with the Earth's axis as it rotated around the sun. <laughs> That's what we wanted you to think. Well, I think we covered everything. Oh, I hope Father's impressed. And now, for the finale. The whole fairyland, Pixie Hollow. Tinkerbell, I can't wait to show Father. Tinkerbell, are you all right? Tinkerbell? Huh? Oh, sorry. Yeah, let's go show your dad. to make it home to your friends now. Maybe this could help you. Oh, yes. Such a clever tinker. I'll never forget you, Tinkerbell. You best hurry. The break in the wizard's main horse gone. Forget you, Rusty. Not just now, Lizzie. My hands are on full at the moment. I mean, it's especially for you, Father. It's just like your field journal. It's filled with lots of facts. Yes, yes, that sounds wonderful, but I, I'm in the middle of a potential <laughs> catastrophe here. I, I can't look at it. <laughs> I don't have time. I have to find some way to deal with all these leaks before they destroy my work. When will you be able to look at it? Oh, I don't know. Maybe later. You always say that.
I can fix that. Lydia, you sure you know where you're going? Yes. Tinkerbell and I walked by here. I just have to find the road. Road? That road. <gasps> that road. That's not a road. That's a muddy river. So, I guess we need to find the bridge. Or be spontaneous and jump right in. It's not deep. We can walk across. Yeah, no, I don't really do that. But you're a garden fairy. <laughs> all right, I'm getting it. Okay, all right. I'm coming. She's so close. I can get myself out of here. Oh, all right, all right. Someone just get me something to grab onto. Got it. Mikey, rescue device. Anything? My, the splendid tea feathers. I'm really quite impressed. Then I say, oh, why, thank you, Tinkerbell. You are too kind. You hold your pinky out like this, and that's the way it's so <laughs> Good night, Libby. Oh, it just 
spent enough hours in the day. to make sure everything is okay in here. Oh yes, just fine. No leaks at all, so... Strange. It's as if they mended themselves. It's still raining outside. I can't imagine how on earth such a thing could occur. <laughs> well, there must be an explanation that I'm just not thinking of. I'm sure you'll think of it, Father. Ooh. Off we go. Perhaps down in your study, you always do your best thinking there. I wish you luck. Be well, uh, play nicely. Yes, of course. <laughs> Bye, Father. Oh, that's as close. What are you doing? This is your chance. What? Why do you fix those leaks? So he can spend more time with me. I've really been wanting to show him this. Okay, okay. I'll go. Father? 
really much my silly green dot. A butterfly. He's gone. What? The aperture of iris with the irregular wing patterns. I'm going to lend it to the museum tonight. Oh, this is a big opportunity. And now it's gone. Elizabeth, did you release it? No. Well, I didn't do it. And since there is no one else in the house, there is only one logical explanation. It must have been you. I didn't do it, Father. I'm going to give you one more chance. Tell me the truth. I could tell you, Father. But you wouldn't believe me. Very well. Off to your room, young lady. I'm very disappointed in you. You know, I was just thinking. If Tink were here, how not quiet it would be right now. You can <laughs> say that again. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Who am I? Something you all should know. <sighs> Tinkerbell getting trapped is all my fault. <gasps> I slammed that door on Tinkerbell to teach her a lesson. I tried to get her out, but the door was stuck. I tried, but I couldn't. And now I put her and all of us in danger. I am so sorry. Oh, honey, this is not your fault. We all know that T can get into plenty of trouble all by herself. It scares me to think what would have happened if you weren't there, Lydia. I don't know what to say. How about faith, trust, and... And pixie dust. And pixie dust! Can you reach it, Clanky? Almost just a little more. Okay. No, can you see anything? No. There's a big building in the way. Building? Hush. Don't. Hush. Fix it. Like it. We've got it. What have we got? Hush. Hush. Oh, sorry. I can't feel my legs. You never believed me. I'm so sorry, Lizzie. I'm so glad you're here. You're my best friend. I wish I were there, just like you. Then I could help the flowers bloom and talk to animals and fly around with the other fairies all the time. That would be fun.
What's going on out there? Tonight, another butterfly is gone. The little girl has her in a cage. And that cage, there's also a large human in the house who doesn't like creatures with wings. He pins them up in display cases. Great. Anything else? Oh, yes, the cat. Cat? What cat? Um, cat? Cat? to that stairwell. Any ideas? If we could just build a bridge or something. That's it. A bridge? Guys? Guys? A bridge made out of what? Guys! Wait, you're a genius! Huh? Uh, <laughs> it was nothing! <laughs> Let's do this. We need some more plates. Okay, start passing them up, Clunky. All right. Here they come. Get ready for more. Oh, hello. Ah! Oh, we've got the full plate back here. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, Liz 
Daisy. Why, hello, Father. May I help you? What's going on in here? Nothing. Nothing? Sounds like a herd of elephants have been marching up here. Look at this room. It looks like a cyclone hit it. Not that bad. Not that bad? Your books are all over the floor. Your toys are everywhere, and you tore your curtains. What? How did you get footprints on the ceiling? This is simply too much. A temper tantrum of this magnitude is unacceptable. But I wasn't having a tantrum. Then how did this happen? And the truth this time? If I tell you the truth, you still won't believe me. Elizabeth, the truth. I was flying. My fairy showed me how. Oh, for goodness sake. Your make-believe fairy did this. You've got to stop this nonsense. But it's not nonsense, Father. It's the truth. You have a real fairy living in your room. Yes, and I can prove it. This is what you've been doing? These field journals are to be filled with facts, not fairy tales. But father, these are facts. I don't understand this foolishness, Lizzie. You have such talent. Why would you waste it this way? Why can't you just believe me? I believe in what is real. And it's about time you started doing the same. I, I, I know this is difficult for you to understand, but this is all make-believe. No, they're real. Elizabeth, this discussion is over. Thank you. 
don't even think about it. <laughs> Many magical talents. They can talk to animals, make the flowers bloom, create warm summer breezes. Oh, Lizzie, what a beautiful drawing. And some invent the most clever little gadgets. <laughs> well, Tig, you found something to fix after all. Yeah, I guess I did. They bring the change of seasons and help nature in many ways. But the best talent a fairy can have is simply being a friend. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.